I mean, can a tackle do something to try to draw you off without flinching and, and, and being caught for a false start? That's probably what's happened to you a couple times, I imagine. Uh, to honestly, I feel like more than a couple times I've been you know, right, right with the ball. You know, mm -hmm. I might have been a little bit too fast for the ref. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so he might have to catch up to me. But, you know, going back and watching it is definitely close, and I'm going to keep on walking the line. i got to avoid the ones where you know, it's obvious, but you know, the ones where it's 50-50, I'm going to take those every time. So you know, there are some tackles who will flinch or move their arm or do something, you know, twitch, try to get you off sides. But if he, if he makes any sudden movement, I'm going to go. And if the ball moves, you know, as soon as that ball starts to you know, inch forward, I'm flying off the ball. You know, whatever the, the consequences may be, whether it's a sack or an offside, I'm going to make up for it. So the 50-50 ones, you're not guessing. You see something that makes you go. Yeah. How much work have you put into that since you've been here? Because I, re I remember talking to Bruce Smith and his big emphasis <laughs> was the timing. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I, I need to you know, have a better emphasis on keys and getting off the ball. And that's really what I've been you know, working on. You know, what can I look at to give me an advantage to their snap count? Because you know, they obviously know their snap count and what they're going on. So how can I catch back up to them and see you know, if it's going on one, two? You know, is he starting to lean? Is he, was he going to look at me when the you know, play's about to start this time? You know, just small things like that, small little details I can use to you know, get a step ahead and get to that contact point and beat them there. So when you were at Texas A&M, though, was it, were you looking at those things, or were these all just, things you picked up? I was just fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up, I picked up uh, more things, you know, being here and having some, uh, some older you know, you know, guys like Clyde and Greg and Bruce in my ear and able to you know, tell me those, those little nuggets or give me those little nuggets. And uh, at A&M, you know, sometimes you, it, was, it was really just uh, anticipation, really instincts. And uh, sometimes I'd watch lean, but it's just more of an emphasis here. Gotcha. Um, when you went back and looked at the film, what did you think of the, the Ravens game for you individually? A lot of, a lot of double teams, a lot of chips. Uh, it, was, it was rough. It kind of got you know, tired out with uh, all that was coming towards me. I just have to you know, weather the storm. I know that a one-on-one -on -one will come, and I have to take advantage of it. And I know that, you know, when I'm getting double, then I'm getting you no know, chips or triple team or whatever it is. You know, there's somebody who's gonna one on one and they're gonna win. So make sure I can put all the pressure I can when I get those those chances, so that you know when they go back to them, they'll win and make a big play themselves. But I'm not gonna. My motor's not gonna stop. With all